What's going on lads, it's your boy Cameron here and welcome back to another video on the channel. Hope you guys all have a fantastic day. So, today we are doing a challenge rebuild. We're doing a trading everyone on the team, well, accepting every trade, that's what it is. We're doing an accepting every trade uh, challenge. So as you see, we don't have a team. We are going to spin the wheel. Well, not the wheel. We're just going to like spin it around and uh, count down from like five and uh, pick a random team and then just accept every trade on it. So yeah, that's the entire gist. And then we run a season with that and then we make trades and we run a season with that team and that's the end of the rebuild. But before we get into it, how's everyone doing? Hopefully you guys are all having a good day. Um, if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe. It would be absolutely amazing if you guys could. It would be absolutely phenomenal if you could just hit the subscribe button. Um, it will show you support for the channel. It would be absolutely amazing if you could do that. We got to pick our team, are we? See, we're just going to spin it around. Five, four, three, two, one. We get the Utah Jazz. Utah Jazz. Oh, uh, Utah Jazz. It could be a good team. It could be nice. Hopefully the, the thing is nice to me. Hopefully we can uh, get rid of Mike Conley. Because I would like to get rid of Mike Conley. That would be very nice if we could do that. Um, we are lo loaning in a normal draft class. Because it would be just like a normal rebuild. Just we have to trade everyone. So this roster. I'd like to keep Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert. Those two I'd like to keep. Everyone else on this team I am quite happily... I'll quite happily get rid of. It just Gobert and Mitchell are the two that I would like to keep. Uh, that's really about all. Should I talk? Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna fast forward. Uh, show you the trades. I won't talk until after. So I'm gonna fast forward through to the trade deadline. I'm gonna sim to the trade deadline. Uh, you guys, it will be in fast forward for you guys, so you won't be able to read everything and all that. But after that, I will show you guys the roster. So. Yeah, hopefully that works out. <laughs> I am gonna sim it. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. I'm actually Hopefully uh, there's a there's a bit of music or something going on. Hopefully it's just not plain. <laughs> Have fun. They took away our two best players. They took them away. And now I'm upset. <laughs> oh, this is gonna suck, man. Fucking hell. Alright, so our best player now is John Collins. We have Mike Conley, still Robert Covington, Jabari Parker. So, I mean, our team got a little bit deeper, I guess you could say. Alright, what are they running? They're running Conley, Lamb, Covington, Collins, and Bradley. Like, John Collins... Robert Covington, they're good pieces, but they're the only two pieces we're going to probably keep. So I'm going to simulate the rest of the season. Uh, I'm not going to be bothered. I'm not going to accept that there's no more trades because we're past the trade deadline. I'll see you guys with hopefully a bit of <laughs> a record. 
Okay, so for this first season, we end up going 37 and 45. Giannis is the MVP. Ja Morant, rookie of the year. D'Angelo Russell, six-man. Kawhi, defensive. Bam Adebayo, most improved. And Brad Stevens, coach of the year. So I'm not expecting any Utah Jazz on any of these teams. We do not get anyone. Defensive, no. And we would have had Gobert, but he decided he wanted to be traded. We definitely didn't make playoffs. So let's just see where we were like, uh, before we do that. Can we see? We can't see. Okay. Let's just see where we were. Hopefully, we do have our first round pick. We were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We would have the 11th best of odds, and we finished second to last, third to last in the West. That's stupid. All right, that's dumb. Player stats, let's see what goes on. Who's here? Mike Conley, 22.4, th 3 and 7. Lamb, Parker, Collins, not the greatest. I'm really not excited about this team at all. I'm just not excited about it. It sucks. 23rd offensively, our defense. Was that defense good? Our defense was kind of decent, you know? It's top 10. A differential. 19th. Simulate these playoffs. I'll see you guys with champs. I'm really not happy about this team. The Los Angeles Clippers are the champions and Kawhi Leonard wins himself finals MVP. So we'll go down the lottery. Hopefully we do have our first round pick. Please, do we? No, the Grizzlies have it. Oh no, we got the 10th pick. Okay, we have our 10th pick. So it was a protected. I didn't know it was protected because I didn't know we actually had our pick. So we do have the 10th pick. Staff signing. Quinn Snyder, I'll keep. Uh, we want a new trainer in, not Randy. Let's go uh, bloody Sean Lee here, lad. Let's go Sean. And we're going to offer Michael Williams a deal here too. There we go. We get both those blokes. Let's go down to the draft. Got the 10th pick. So we're going to try and win now. We only got one more season. So we're going to try and win. Mike Conley and this 10th pick. Are you able to get me someone better than Mike freaking Conley? D Rose and Blake Griffin could work because I know I could trade Blake for someone and D Derek Rose is on a good deal. So I'll take Derek Rose and Blake Griffin. I think the, that's a nice little deal there. And then Blake, I need to turn those off. Just a second, guys. All right, now we can see what we can get for Blake Griffin. Flip him for Chris Middleton. Zach Levine is nice. Uh, Mitchell Robinson. Because what we could do is if we went Zach, we could go Zach Levine, which I like because that gives us a shooting guard. I do like Zach Levine. And then we can move uh, Ed Davis and, say, Tony Bradley, because those two are making pretty stupid deals. Uh, could we go uh, Ilya Sova in a second? Robert Williams would be nice. Ooh, Justice Winslow. There are some nice options here. Um, I, ooh, Terrence Ross is nice. Um, but i liking the Robert Williams deal. Actually, you know what? I like this Terrence Ross deal. Oh, it's not a lot of money though. All right, I'll go. I'll go Robert Williams. Robert Williams is nice because if we move him to the power forward, he does go up. So I like Robert Williams. We move him to the power forward. That is nice for us there. So we have like what the 25th pick now. If we can move this 25th pick and someone like a uh, Covington, if we could move these two for a small forward, please. Oh, we can get Boyan Bogdanovich back. JJ Redick, Mike Conley back. Rudy Gay, I think, is probably the best option. Because what I can do is then I can take Rudy Gay, move him to the small forward. He goes up to an 83. And then we go Rudy Gay. Oh, no, not Zach Levine. Rudy Gay. And C. We can get Tobias Harris, C. And say, oh, Julius Randle even. JJ Redick, Mike Conley. Okay. Draymond Green. Oh, damn it. So Tobias Harris is the best small forward getting offered up for us. So if we chuck in a first there, we can still get Tobias Harris. I'm um, looking at Tobias. He's probably the best bet. Yep, I'll take Tobias Harris on. That's nice there, and that's a lot of money, though. So we got a power forward. So what do we got? We got a small forward, shooting guard, point guard, power forward. We need a center. We do need a center. So Jeremy Lamb and uh, TJ McConnell is actually a good backup point guard, so I'm going to keep him. Jeremy Lamb. And, actually, no, then we could bring, like, D. Rose off the bench if we can get another point guard. Buddy Hill is a shooting guard. Draymond Green. We're looking for a center, but... It's okay. We're probably not going to be able to get him. Uh, let's go into the draft because we do have that 20. No, we traded away that pick. Okay. I forgot. I'm sorry, guys. I just forgot. <laughs> all right. Uh, so Anthony Edwards went one. Isaiah Stewart, James Wiseman, Lamelo Ball, and Nico Manon are all the top five picks. Uh, we don't have a pick. So team player options. Jabari Parker has declined. I'm not going to resign. Not going to resign. Not going to resign. Jabari Parker, I would not mind coming back. I don't really mind too much. Uh, but I think we do have a little bit of money here in free agency, don't we? No, we do not. We need to free up some cap. So, who do we trading? Jeremy Lamb, you are getting moved, my guy, for Otto Porter. Is a 
huge contract. We can get two firsts from the Hawks. Thank you, Atlanta. Man, I love doing fantasy rebuilds. They're so easy to just get picks. It's so easy to free up cap. So we can offer you that much. 137. The Lakers can offer you 138. Could we free up a little bit more if we moved? I don't want to move TJ McConnell. Okay, if I could find for Tobias Harris, because Tobias Harris is making a lot of money. If we can move Tobias Harris for a small forward who's making less money, or Chris Saps Pazingas. So either I'm going after Mitchell Robinson, Chris Saps Pazingas, or Nurkic. And at the moment, I'm liking the Pazingas deal best. I'm liking this Chris Saps Pazingas deal. He's less money. I'll do that. Um, Chris Daps Pazingas is nice, and then I can move Anthony Davis to the power forward position. Hopefully, he'd like to come to us. No, he doesn't. He doesn't want to come to the Jazz. God damn. Why not, man? Why don't you want to come to the Jazz? That's sad, man. We can't... We can, oh, bugger, 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 bugger. Okay, then Andre Drummond, I guess, would probably be the best backup. And then, just in case, I will go DeMar DeRozan. DeMar DeRozan. Where if he'd like to come on, he can. So we get DeMar and we we don't even get bloody Andre Drummond. Drummond went to the Hawks and AD went back to the Lakers. So we get DeMar DeRozan, which I mean, okay. And Jeff Teague's the next available. Oh my goodness. Okay. Free agency's a freaking slump then. So DeRozan, could we move you for a center? Clint Capella and Joe Ingles. Plus I have to give up Robert Williams. I don't exactly want to do that, man. Nurk and Gorgie Dang, cheer. Oh, what I could do is John Wall or even like Wiggs. All right, I'm going to look for something for DeMar DeRozan here. Instead of wasting your time, I will find a trade. I'll see you guys when I have a trade. All right, I found this trade for Wiggins and Culver. I did sign Ian Mahimi in free agency while I was gone. So I'm taking on Andrew Wiggins and Jarrett Culver because Wiggins can go to the small forward. He goes up. And then what I can do is move... I can play Pazingas at the 5 because I realize we do have John Collins. So what I could do is play Pazingas at the 5 and uh, Collins at the 4. Uh, so Culver and uh, Pazingas, if we can move these two guys for a center, like Andre Drummond, gee whiz, that would be huge. So on white side, Devin Booker, CJ McCollum and Nurkic, that's big. McCollum and Nurkic, I like that. Or, yeah, I'm going to go this McCollum and Nurkic deal. I think that's probably the best. And then shooting guard, we've got Zach Levine. So now we, our best player is Andrew Wiggins. So we got two point guards. We're fine there. Shooting guards, we've got plenty. Small forward, power forward, we need another center. So we've got Zach Levine and CJ McCollum. So Zach Levine, we don't need. Um, Levine and what could we upgrade? If we could move D Rose and Levine for like an elite point guard, I probably would. But like, oh, Devin Booker. Oh, and. D'Angelo is not exactly better than Derrick Rose. I mean, yeah, he probably is, but either the Dinwiddie and Levert or De'Aaron Fox and Buddy Heald. I like this deal a lot, so I'm going to do that. I'll pick up De'Aaron Fox and Buddy Heald. Uh, it gives us an upgrade at point guard, and then Buddy Heald hopefully can be moved uh, for a... Oh, Clint Capella to come off of the bench. No, he'll be starting and Nurk would be coming off the bench. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. Jeez, okay, this team has turned out and turned into something decent, you know. We've got two, three, four, five. We need another small forward. I mean, Daniel House isn't bad to come off the bench. Um, Nurk and bloody... Nurk and John Collins. Could we move these two and get a, another power forward? Mitchell Robinson, Kuzma. Dinwiddie and Jordan's not bad. Brogdon, Holiday, Ball, Dumbia. Bodie Hill, Robert Williams, Culver. We're not getting offered uh, the small power fours we want. So if we chuck in a Thunder first there too, could you guys give me a better power forward, please? Come on. Come on. One's surely going to pop out. No? All right, I'll find a trade. Just a sec, guys. All right, I like this trade here. I'm not trading uh, uh, John Collins like I suggested, but we're going to get now we just need a small forward. So we need to pick up a small forward here. For our team, we've got Brogdon, who we can play at the shooting guard. If we move into the shooting guard, he does go up, which means we don't need CJ McCollum. So CJ McCollum and uh, John Collins now. Can we pick up a small forward that is elite? Jalen Brown, not bad. Um, Victor Oladipo. Ooh. Ooh. I like that Victor Oladipo trade. Plus, we get Bojan Bogdanovic. I am doing that deal. I like Oladipo. 
Because then what we can do is move Oladipo. Ah, oh, he prefers to play the guard position. Oh, no. Uh, so then if I go Bogdanovic and uh, Oladipo, can we move these two for a small forward? That, uh, please... Come on, go bear, we can get back. We need a small forward and we're not getting one. If you need a second round pick, call me. I've got plenty. Where, ooh, Devin Booker is a shooting guard again. And we need a small forward. We can just do a straight swap back. <laughs> uh, bugger, 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 bugger. Demata Rosen. Like, where, where am I getting the most value? I reckon probably Hollands and Wigs is not bad. Back, getting back, but DeJounte and LaMarcus isn't bad either. Uh, I'm going to look for something here, guys. Again, I'm going to take another cut. I'll find another trade. All right, I'm going to do this deal for Devin Booker. The only reason is because I think that if I traded Devin Booker and, say, Bogdanovich, if I traded Booker and Bogdanovich, could I now get a small forward that is decent, like an Andrew Brandon Ingram plus Drew Holiday? That is very, very good. I like that deal. I'm going to do that uh, Brandon Ingram, Drew Holiday deal. I like that a lot. And uh, now, Drew Holiday, you're going to get moved uh, because you're not needed. I'm going to be looking for a backup position now. So if I go to Drew Holiday and that could, you get me two decent players to come off of our bench. And that Jonathan Isaac and Evan Fournier one, pretty good. Jamal Murray to come off the bench. Yeah. Looking for two decent players to come off the bench. Terrence Ross and Free Van Vliet is nice. Um, I'm thinking the best one is either this Marcus Morris, Brandon Clark, or Devontae Graham and Malik Monk. Or Isaac and Fournier, I think, is probably the best two to come off the bench. So I'm going to do that. Uh, now, what do we need? So we got we need a backup point guard. We got shooting guards. We got small forwards. We need a backup power forward and center. So point guard, we can just offer Tim Fraser a deal. Uh, let's go to s power forwards. We can go Mayers Leonard and at the center position. Let's just give FK Udo uh, the right of let's just give FK Udo that deal there. And hopefully we get all three. We do. So that's nice. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go down training camps. I'll see you guys in two training camps here. Let's go down to untapped and I'm giving it to uh, give it to Jonathan Isaac. And then I'll also give it to Evan Fournier as well because I want those guys to produce for me. Uh, I'm not going to make any trades. Maybe I might get a better backup center. I might look for one anyway. Uh, I don't think I am going to make a deal. I might just look for one because... Or, and a backup point guard. <laughs> better backup point guard. So let's just see if we can pick up uh, like a 90, 95, 96 backup point guard. Yeah, I can get Brad Watermaker. Which, at the moment, is looking very, 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 very nice. Um, we can get Matt Thomas. and yeah, we're looking for point guards. So, at the moment, Brad Watermaker is the way to go. And, yes, we are going to pick up Brad Watermaker as our backup point guard. And then we need to find a center, a better backup center. And we will chuck in, like, a, for a second. Uh, hopefully, we can find, again, another center that is higher than, like, a 76 yeah, that's what we need, and we should be able to be okay, but we're not getting offered up one Zizic is better than Epki Udo, so we'll take Ante Zizic, uh, and then we're going to probably try and move Zizic for someone else, I'm guessing. If we go like that, plus Evan Turner, I guess, could we get a better center of Norvell Pele? Aaron Baines. Okay. Sure. Yep, I'll do that. <laughs> uh, I'll sort our rotation. I'll see you guys with our rotation for this season. All right, our rotation for this season is looking like De'Aaron Fox, Victor Oladipo, Brandon Ingram, DeMontis Sabonis, and Clint Capella starting five. We then have Evan Fournier, Jonathan Isaac, Aaron Baines, Mayers Leonard, and Brad Watermaker coming off of our bench. Scoring options, Oladipo, Ingram, and Sabonis, and we're going to go play through star. We got four stars with a balance system. It's our best system there. Power rankings, NBA.com have the Jazz at 12, 2K Sports have the Jazz at 12, and Eric have the Jazz at 12. So, Let's see what happens. I'm going to simulate this season. This is going to be the one and only season that I simulate fully through. I'll see you guys with our record.
All right, so we go 39 and 43, which is a bit upsetting, but it is what it is. Steph Curry is MVP, LaMelo Rookie of the Year, Dennis Schroeder, six-man Kawhi defensive, Robert Williams, most improved, and Nick Carlisle, Nick Carlisle, Rick Carlisle, coach of the year. So we probably won't have any Utah Jazz on any of these teams. We don't. Do we get any defensive Jazz? We do get Oladipo, all defensive second team, so that's all right. And uh, we don't have any rookies there. So we don't make playoffs, which is upsetting. Uh, let's just see how everyone did first. Team player stats, Oladipo didn't average 20 plus points, four and five. So an 18, five and three for Ingram, 17, three and eight for De'Aaron, 16, one and three for Fournier, 13, eight and two for Sabonis, 11, 11 and one for Capella, six, five and oh for Baines, five, five and oh for Isaac. 5-0-1 oh, for Warnermaker. So, team didn't do exactly what I wanted, but, you know, it's yeah, it's actually kind of upsetting, you know. It's really upsetting. Offensively, we were 12th. Our defense... Our defense wasn't even as good as I thought it would be this season, you know. It was 9th worst. And our differential was 15th, so... Yeah, that's going to do it for me. This is the roster, guys. Oladipo, Fox, Ingram, Fournier, Capella. I thought we put together a pretty good team, but it looks like it wasn't, so... Hopefully you guys all have enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to smash the like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It'd be absolutely phenomenal if you guys could show your support and hit the subscribe button. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of this year. If we can hit it before then, that would be absolutely phenomenal. But I'm going to leave the video there. Hopefully you guys all have a good rest of the day. I'll catch you guys in the next video.